What's up softball players, Dan Blewett here. We're gonna go over today an important concept in softball throwing mechanics, and that is where your elbow should be in space. So the joint angle of your elbow is really important into reducing shoulder and elbow stress while also increasing velocity and consistency in your accuracy across the diamond, okay? So if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I put out new videos each week on throwing, strength training, mental toughness, and much more. Okay, so elbow joint angle, it starts to count, quote unquote, once we feel the ground ball, we step, and then our stride foot hits the ground. So when we get to this point in our delivery of our throw, whether we're an infielder, outfielder, catcher, when this foot hits the ground, that's when this angle is gonna be really important because at that point, our hips and our core are gonna rotate around, and then basically wherever this guy is, it's gonna be set and it's gonna be thrown back by the rotation of our body in the external, which is this, and then internal rotation. So the joint angle is really important because it's gonna create more external rotation and faster internal rotation when we do it well. So what we don't want are the following couple of things. Okay, so the big key here is being 90 degrees or less. So this is 90 degrees, and again, we're talking about this angle here. We wanna be a little bit less, so you'll see a lot of uh, infielders in softball and Major League Baseball, they're here or they're out to here. So again, that's 90 degrees or a little bit less. So we don't want a lot less because I see this with a lot of players because what happens is when we have like a really tight elbow angle, our arm just kind of flops back and it'll often spin out around and then sometimes you'll get that bouncing action of your forearm, you'll get this this sort of rotation, then we get this awful spin and the ball doesn't carry very well. So you'll see throws that die. So the other thing with having a really extra tight elbow angle here, so again, that's like less than probably like 75, 80 degrees, is that the arm doesn't externally rotate as much. When we're here to here, we get a lot more power from our shoulders. When we're too tight in here, the arm starts to spin out. This puts more stress on our shoulder as our shoulder has to deal with forces going out and forces going back to front. So we want to have not too much, we call it joint flexion, but really it's just how much your elbow bends down here. So we don't want to be all the way in here. So I'll, I'll see this once in a while with softball players. We want to be somewhere in here, all the way out to here, around 90 degrees. Okay, then why do we not want a longer than 90 degree angle? So, you know, into the hundreds, 100 degrees, 110, 120, 130, you'll see all this as well. We don't want that because it makes a longer lever arm, longer moment arm. So when our arm is really long, so say you had an elbow straight, you'd have to throw it, you know, kind of like you're throwing a pie or you're carrying a pizza, whatever it is. When we have this long arm, it's a much longer lever for our shoulder to accelerate. It's just like swing a 50 inch bat versus a 30 inch bat, right? You swing the right size bat for you because it gives you the right amount of torque and you have to produce a certain amount of torque to swing that bat well. So when our arm angle is really long, our shoulder has to, has to basically swing a longer bat. When we're here at 90, we only have to go from the elbow to the shoulder, so our shoulder can handle that really well. And then this angle here goes boom, right over top of the, of the softball. So joint angles are really important. And the last thing is, is elbow stress. So when we have this long angle here, if we're landing like this, and then we have this long draggy 120, 130 degree angle, this is gonna, again, because of this long lever arm, it's gonna put more stress through our elbow. Because again, it's just this really long, essentially like bat for our shoulder to swing. So our butter zone, and this isn't my opinion, this is from ASMI research on baseball pitchers, the best possible spot for everyone is around 90 degrees plus or minus. So somewhere in here. So when you see high level players, they'll get here and they'll be somewhere like this. You'll typically see them a little bit inside 90 and that's a good spot where they get the most amount of power. They put the least amount of stress on their shoulder and elbow and they're gonna get good accuracy and then they're gonna be able to consistently take the field over time because again, they're not gonna be putting tons of extra force through the elbow and shoulder that could potentially lead to injuries in the future. We can't always completely eliminate injuries, right? There's, no, there's nothing I can give you that say you'll never be hurt uh, because it's, just, it's a stressful motion in general, but we wanna give ourselves every chance we can to be as healthy as we can and good joint angles and good mechanics are a big piece of that, all right? So if you felt like this video helped you today, Definitely subscribe to the channel, share it with a friend, and I'll see you in the next video.